Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to another session of 100 days of CUET questions. Today, this is the third day and I am taking the third question. This is a question from microeconomics based on elasticities. Let's read the question beta. The table gives estimate of the price elasticity and cross price elasticity of demand for bus and rail travel. So let's read this down. Huh? This is a table given to you. Beta, in this table, it is saying that this is the service and this is elasticity with respect to price for bus travel. So, dhyan se hai. When we read this table, it says that this is bus travel with bus travel and this is negative. Then I will go to the options. So read it out. But this is bus travel with bus travel and this is given negative. So elasticity of bus travel with bus travel is that this is my demand elasticity. But what is demand elasticity? Percentage change in quantity demanded due to percentage change in price of the commodity. So, in this case, this is percentage change in bus travel due to percentage change in price of bus travel only. And beta, this is negative. So, what does negative represent? Negative represents that this is a normal good. Or a good good. Huh, beta? It's a normal good or a good good. And if you see this an absolute value, then beta, this is less than 1. So that means that it has an inelastic demand. Ye sab kuch is table se pata chal rahe. It has an inelastic demand. Is this clear? Okay, beta, now read the next part. So this is bus travel. With the retail, with the rail travel. So this says, dhyan se samajna hai, beta. With the rail travel. Achha. So now my price of rail travel is given. And the quantity of, sorry, quantity of bus travel is given. So beta, when I have to understand this number, when I have to understand this number, it means that this is percentage change in the quantity of bus travel due to the percentage change in price of rail travel. So, beta, ye, this is cross price elasticity. Cross price elasticity. And this cross price elasticity is given as positive. So, which goods have positive cross price elasticity? We know that substitute goods have positive cross price elasticity. It means that when price of one good will increase, the demand of the other good will increase. But now look into the third number. This is plus 0 0.16. So, percentage change in rail travel. Ye ho kya? Percentage change in the quantity of rail travel due to, due to the price of the bus travel. So, percentage change in price of bus travel. But if this is given to you as plus 0 0.16. Again, positive. So, which means that these are substitute goods. Is that clear? Okay, beta, look at the last one. Now, you are given rail travel with respect to rail travel. So, percentage change in quantity of rail travel due to percentage change in price of rail travel. But what is that given as? It is given as negative 0 0.43. But a negative means that these are good goods. Because the demand elasticity is negative. So, uh, 
normal goods is a better way of saying it. I don't want to go into good or bad for now. So you can just say these are normal goods. Haan, beta. Now it says, what would be the change in volume of rail travel from 1% increase in bus fare? So price of bus fare and quantity of rail travel. So how much is it? What's the elasticity? 0 0.1. 6. So, an increase of 0.16. So, answer to this question should be A. Okay, beta? Fine. Thank you.